Just incredible. Thanks, Janice. So the Governor-General, one of the country's highest-ranking women, has met a group of women from Africa who could be the continent's next leaders. All ten are recipients of the Australian Leadership Awards, which offers them a chance to do their postgraduate studies here in Australia. 170 of the world's best and brightest minds gathered in Canberra to receive the coveted Australian Leadership Awards. They hail from 46 different countries. The Leadership Awards give recipients the opportunity to undertake postgraduate studies in their chosen discipline at a number of Australian universities. And this year, one particular group of recipients has been singled out for excellence. A group of 10 African women have been afforded the rare opportunity of meeting one of the most powerful women in Australia, Governor-General Quinton Bryce. I'm really honoured and privileged to have the opportunity to be here. It's so great. It's a prestigious award, actually, and I feel so honoured and uh, thankful to the Australian Government. Quinton Bryce is just as honoured. The Governor-General has had a strong connection with Africa since she visited the continent in 2009. She took in 10 countries in 18 days and says the heart of leadership there is its women. This group hails from nine different countries, including Botswana, Kenya, Nigeria and Sierra Leone. The disciplines they're studying are as diverse as accounting, bushfire management and midwifery. It's quite an honour. It's very humbling um, because very many people are qualified and I think education helps to level the playing field. They will receive informal mentoring from Australia's leading women and it's hoped they'll take their new skills back home with them. They're people who show promise to actually, uh, I guess, as emerging leaders uh, so that they'll go back in their country and actually have influence and be able to, to assist with development in their countries. Two African women shared in the Nobel Peace Prize last year for their leadership in resolving conflict and women in the continent have recently stepped up their role as mediators. We are mothers and you know mothers have got a heart to take care of their families and as well as the country. One quarter of Australia's development scholarships are now directed to Africa. Shalila Madora, World News Australia.